a momentous occasion that we're here for today. It was a time. Why you say that so for a special police officer? So he's no longer going to be arresting people, huh? We don't know what he might do on his friends. You know, he'll soon be able to carry. Concealing carry. That's what's up. Hashtag me too, but I'm a gentleman. My mother taught me to be a gentleman. Hey, bro, you know you're wrong, right? Uh huh. I'm gonna say you're wrong. No, Max, how you not gonna tell me about the retirement party, bro? I thought we'd check on each other. My brother's keeper. I know I've been gone about eight years, man, but I ain't out of sight. I still love you, bro. Congratulations. Oh, man, I think this is an uh, April Fool's joke, man. I hope it's not. That's that would be hilarious. That he's having a 56th birthday party and it's actually not your retirement, man. But hey, man, I appreciate you. Congratulations. Thanks for always being there for me and being a big brother. Hey, enjoy retirement. Hey, Miss, hey, uh, and what? And why are you here this evening? To Joe, celebrate Joe's retirement. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, appreciate you. Yeah, some of you guys didn't want to spoil anything. A couple of you all cars have been towed, but it's all good. You got Uber. We just kidding. We just kidding. Ain't nobody cars are resolution those who need to pick up a little weight pre-diabetics we got you I'm telling you we thought of you team as well. And I want to put him up there with those that are not here now, starting with Morris Johnson. Mm -hmm. Morris Johnson was the elite ERT member. Matter of fact, the youth center's team was elite. Everyone wanted to know what was going on at the youth center because of the team. We also have one who went home earlier. Richard Williams, 
And Lomax is right there with him. That's why he'd say he distinguished himself. All of these persons distinguished themselves as they were part of the emergency response team. Whenever something went down, the ERT team was called to handle it. Because of their ingenuity, because of their physical ability, they were able to put things down. Is it down right? And, you know, oftentimes, a person had a tendency to look at me, little guy, and then would often want to challenge me. Isn't that right, Clark? Yes, sir. <laughs> Maximum security unit, the first person I saw was Gardner. This is the first time I'm on the duty. And Gardner says, I run this unit. And you got to move me to get me out the way. <laughs> Did I move? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not leaving you out, my son. <laughs> there was a time when Lomax, doing well with the physical part of the ERT team, he looked at me and said, you just sit in the position. You probably can't do 15 push-ups. <laughs> I was so embarrassed that here was the warden down on the floor pushing up. And did I do 15? Yes, sir. Did I do more than 15? Yes, sir. Do you remember the bet? I do. You won. <laughs> no, the bet is this. Mr. Kirkland, if you do 15 push-ups, I'm going to cut your grass. <laughs> well, he retired from the youth center and went to PG. But I want to say congratulations, congratulations on your retirement. You know I love you, man. Yeah. Now I'm going to hit you. Now I'm going to hit you. Now that he's retired, he can fulfill that bet. Yeah. Okay. I'm Sharon Sharpless, and I was one of the um, youth center managers. Back then, I was a young female operating a 100-man unit. Wow. But these people right here, when I call, they answer. I call Lomax. Five Lomax. What's his 20? Right over in my front door. So I had never ever wavered or was afraid because I knew my youth and the family had my back. I want to thank you and congratulations. We are so, so proud of you because I remember when you was green. <laughs> <laughs> and Lomax's name was Five <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Reese. That's why I came back. Because there was an officer there, our chief of security, Golden. Golden? Yeah. And Golden was really, really challenged by you. And as he saw you, he would say that you were a special agent, not for the department, for outside. He feared you greatly. But it's good to know that you fulfill your, 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 your choice and you brought it to this point. But the most important thing, he's in the family. I don't care whatever event we had, Joseph Lomax always came back and yes. supported us. Yes. And listen, I, I, like I said, I should have stuck to my, my notes. There's a piece there I forgot. I'm laying up in the hospital, y'all, in the emergency room. I was scared to death. And I remember someone coming and says, who is this? You got a Kirkman here? I said, yeah. So he came back, he said, Mr. Kirkman. I said, oh man, great comfort it brought. He just said, I want you to know if you need anything, I'm right here. And from that point on, they treated me differently. I thank you. I thank you. Uh, good evening, how you doing? This is a celebration. 
I was the OIC of the nation. Normax and Dick, they were patrol officers. They said, G, you have one coming to you. Make room. I said, bring them on. <laughs> they would come in. And they said, G, it's your man. I said, yo, son, what's going on? Oh, man, these hot motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> G, 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 hey, look, this DC, this DOC here, look, I'm gonna give it to you real, right? The thing is that, no Max, Dick, and Rob, lock down, we spot, we take your business. We didn't have no weapons, pen and pencil, wow. pen and pencil, and paper. And the flashlight. Mm, right. Damn it. <laughs> you might have a pre-sale or a detail flashlight. Wow. And that worked fine. We didn't have no knives, no stun guns, no tasers. We worked. Okay? And I give credit. This brother, when I first met him, I said, I said, son, he's a damn police. <laughs> Five, 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 five. My first job from the Marine Corps was U.S. Marshal Service. I was termed. But when I got down to Lawton, I said, I said, he's a police. I said, Reese, he's a police. He said, no, G, no, G, no, G, no. I said, Reese, trust me. Shorty is a police. <laughs> We had raised together, we had worked together, we had fought together. And brother, I love you. Yeah. 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 When I first met Lomax, when he first came to Houston in 1990, like he say, we know he was going to be the police. Because one day he was a patrol officer. He was riding around the compound. He called, he called, he called the command center, say, uh, Lomax command center, I got a traffic stop in front of the door. He said, he said, we got two black males wearing orange jumpsuits. Walk the compound. All right, so, all right, so. Another story. You know, before he was always the police, so you know, he was in the streets, right? So uh, one night I go over his house. He was look, living in Southview then. Before he came up, he was in Southview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey Southview, Southview. South South <laughs> I think everybody lived in Southview. So South I go to his house. I'm in the street. I don't, you know, he got no more money on me. I knock on the door. I said, "No man." I knock on the door. He come. Who goes there? <laughs> he said, step back one pace. Get on your knees. Get on lock your feet. No, 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 it's me. Like so I go in the house where I get the money. So I'm going to the bathroom, you know, to wash, uh, wash up. So I go in his linen closet. Man, he got everything that police supposed to have. <laughs> Red gear, speed, load. <laughs> You know, this is when we was young, though, right? So I said, no, no. You know, we was about out late 20s. There. I said, no. They were green then. We were green then. I said, no, no. I said, man, let's go to the oak tree. And see the streets. That oak tree. I said, no, no, let's go. He told me, nah. He want to stay home and listen to the police radio. <laughs> L7. He didn't drink. Yeah. He drink now. He didn't drink. Now. <laughs> you know when he started drinking? When he got married. <laughs> I 
ever met. I mean, I love this dude. He'll do anything in the world for you. That's right. Seriously. I mean, I'm talking about I never met a dude as good as his heart. It's just, you know, it's just like gold. You know, and I love him. Special agent, low max. I love him. <laughs> And I was just telling them one time, I said, you know, collectively, we can write a book. Yeah. And it will sell. Because yeah. people want to know what we was doing down at Lorton Performatory at the Youth Center. Yes, yeah, so. Could you do me a favor? You got you got Run Joe by by Chuck Brown. Play that shit. Play that. I'm a Run Joe. Yeah. Run from Joe. That's his version. Come on, y'all. Hey. Okay. I want y'all to know right there. I got a special guest. Yes, indeed, y'all. We got a special guest in the building tonight. My brother in comedy. He got a lot of relatable things to say to y'all. I want y'all to start clapping your hands right now. Let us go around the room. Let us go around the room. Let's go around the room. Let's go around the room. I want y'all to give it up for the one and only comedy cop, Timmy Ho! Get up for him, man. Get up for the man in the hour. All right, man. I know I'm a boy. I'm a Baltimore City police officer. I know. I know it's rough, bro. I know it's rough. Don't nobody trust the goddamn police. Not even my son. I came from work the other day. I came from in full uniform. My son messing up the school. My wife said you better go upstairs to beat his little ass. I go upstairs to beat my son. As soon as I open the door, he gonna turn around with a Black Lives Matter shirt on and start backing the fuck up. I turn around, they got a brother videotaping. I said, they got me again. They keep getting me with this. <laughs> hard being a cop. Black cops out there, y'all know it's hard being a cop. Black cops and white cops, we different, ain't we? Them white cops ain't no joke. Then they love their job. They be doing shit like show up to the call before the call even come the fuck out. White cops can't wait to get a call. 1120, 1120. I got a black man on that 10 already here. What the fuck? Y'all know black cops, where the black cops are? Y'all lazy shit, we don't do shit. Level 23, level 23, level 23, level 23. <laughs> they had to call my cell phone. Hello, who this? The dispatch, they actually got there ready, yo. <laughs> 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 
radio. And I ain't gonna lie, I ain't no racist cop. I hate racism. I know we all hate racism being police officers. But I ain't gonna lie, if you black, I don't I stop pulling black people, I cut that shit out. But I, if you white, I'll pull you over all goddamn day. <laughs> Not because I'm racist, let me tell you why. I found out something. White people got something that black people don't have. Their registration. I don't know the fuck y'all do with your registration. You don't try to ask a black person for a car registration? They look at you like you asked for a credit report. <laughs> they be having a seizure? Why do you ask me that? They asked one black girl for a registration. She done messed around and popped the trunk. Why you popped the goddamn trunk? They asked one black guy. I said, license registration. About, I want a lawyer. For your registration. <laughs> You didn't know what you done yet. I want a lawyer. <laughs> it's hard, man. It's funny because my five-year-old son told me the other day he gonna be a police officer. I can't let my five-year-old son be a cop, not because it's dangerous. He's five years old, and I already know he gonna be a dirty cop at five. He in the house playing cops and robbers with his cousin. He got on my shirt on my hat. He gonna grab his cousin, throw him in the ground, put his knee in the back, come on. <laughs> my cousin's cousin said I ain't got no drugs. My son gonna reach in his pocket with a zip out bag full of sugar. They gonna go right by the wall. So what's that? <laughs> I said, get over here right now. I said, don't you ever throw no drugs in front of a suspect like that. Go back and put that shit in his pocket like I told you. What is wrong with you? The sad part is, I'm the only cop in my whole family. All my family criminals, every last one of them. My brother in jail right now for something he didn't do. No, he robbed the bank when he didn't do it to get away. He did that shit. No, he robbed the bank. But this is the thing, my brother can't read or write, but gonna rob a bank with a note talking about this will suck up. Who wrote the fucking note? Why'd you ask me to write the note? This will suck up. You embarrassed the whole goddamn family. right now. <laughs> I got an uncle in jail right now. No bullshit. He in jail. We watching the news. He on the goddamn news trying to rob a liquor store with a family union t-shirt on. He got the whole fucking family on the goddamn shirt. He got the whole family union. He ain't Eric on the back. Come on. Who told you? You told Eric. <laughs> Stupid. And like I said, I'm from Baltimore. I don't know if y'all have been. Baltimore, you Baltimore? Baltimore, Baltimore rough, man. Eh? Everybody tell me why crime so bad in Baltimore. Hey, I'm gonna tell you why crime bad. It ain't that police don't want to help. I'm gonna tell you right now, Baltimore going through a recession. We broke as hell. We a broke ass city. You don't believe me? You ever come to Baltimore? We got the most raggedy ass police cars you ever seen in your life. You know your police car raggedy when you pull somebody for a violation of their car and your car got the same fucking violation. Treat me, sir. Your head like it's like, come on, yours too. And your windshield cracked. And <laughs> park my car and jump in his car and deputize him. Raise your right hand, we riding together. We taking your car today, your car way better. <laughs> this is how you know Baltimore broke. We done messed around and ran out of crime scene tape. How you run out of crime scene tape? Damn it. Somebody got shot and killed. I had a happy birthday stream right motherfucker about. He lay in there dead with happy birthday right in his goddamn body. <laughs> They ain't got police dogs in Baltimore no more. They ain't got rid of the dogs. They ain't tell nobody. <laughs> I ain't even know. Somebody, one day they broke into a store. I said, I'm not going in there. I ain't, I ain't going. I'm going to call for a canine dog. I called for a police dog. I said, call, see the canine unit. I said, dog, going to tear his ass up. Over the door, looking for, them, looking for the police dog to have a dog. He going to open the door. He ain't got a dog. His ass got a parrot. <laughs> he going to send a parrot in. The parrot come out shaking them out. Ah, he in there. <laughs> Let's say I know a player gonna fly away. So where you going? He said, Black Lives Matter. What the fuck? How you find a Black Lives Matter bird? <laughs> Be glad, man. Be glad you retired because these people don't understand, man. If you're in the police officer, you don't understand. Our job is regular just like y'all. Stop making our job with all like we like, you know, something different than y'all. We get mad and tired just like y'all. Don't you get mad when you got work overtime and your ass ain't playing it? We, we do too. I work 3 to 11 shift. I get off at 11 o'clock every night. But all of these dumb ass want to get shot at 1047. You had all day to get shot. You could have got shot at 8 30. You selfish as hell. I, I really hope you die. I hope you die. You should die at 840. You should. You should have been got killed at 8 30. I could have been home, but you want to get shot. But you want to go get shot. I 
shit. This is my last year being a cop anyway. This is it for me. I get, I'm done. This is it. I'm retired. I got, because I got medical problems. I got allergies. I don't know if you got allergies. You know how hard it is trying to be a cop in your ass taking Benadryl? I changed the guy last summer. He gonna run to some fresh cut grass. I just stood there and watched his ass. My sergeant said, you better get him. I said, you don't see that pile? And I catch his ass in the fall. Run, Django. I know I can't fight. I can't. Right, all right, all right. That's why I said it's a one or two. You like one. Okay, boom. This is really beautiful. What went into making this? Put this together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay.